Hello, and welcome to Vitrec. Today we're going to be demonstrating the Vitrec V74 high pot tester and Grombon tester all in one. The first thing that you would want to do whenever you connect up the unit is to make sure your connections are correct. Your high voltage lead here and then your source plus and source minus would be connected to the lower connectors here. We're using an IEC adapter in this case to test a AC inlet and then the other side of the ground bond would be over here on the chassis as a return. Once we have the connections correct then we can go through and set up the sequence on the Vitrec V74. Now that we have our connections correct We'll be going through the four steps in this sequence. We're using sequence number four and there are four steps in this sequence. ACW test at a thousand volts, DCW at a thousand volts. We're doing an IR test which is DC IR at a thousand volts and then we're doing a ground bond test at 10 amps. We can go through all the steps on setting this up by hitting the edit steps button. Here you would choose the type of test that you want. It scrolls through the different types of tests and you choose the one that you'd like, in this case the ACW. We're going to set it at a thousand volts. If you want to change the level, you press the level button and put in the appropriate number that you want, up to 5,000 volts. In this case, we're going to leave it at 1,000 volts and then you go to the next one which your, your DUT, your device under test is generally isolated but you also have uh, the grounded ability on this also. We'll leave that at isolated. Your ramp in this case is two seconds. You can set that as whatever seconds you need, need by hitting the button and then just pressing in the number of seconds that you want. Same thing with the dwell. This is set for five seconds and we can put whatever we want. We can also classify it as minutes if you want to do a very long test. This would be your maximum and minimum current limits and this says no limit right now which means zero. You can set that for any type value that you need to. The maximum current limit in this case we're going to use 5 milliamps. You can set it for whatever level you need in your particular application. Going on to the next step, which would be this button right here. This is a DCW test. Again, the same issues we can, we can deal with the different parameters and so forth and set it just the way you need it. The next step would be the IR, which is again DC IR. We have it set for a thousand volts, resistive isolated, and the dwell time would be five seconds in this case with a delay time of zero. The delay time would be the amount of time that you let it settle before it actually starts enforcing the readings that you're putting in there. That gives it a chance to settle. Um, the maximum and minimum ohm limit that you have in this case is 500 mega ohms would be the minimum limit. The next step would be the ground bond. In this case we're doing a ground bond at 10 amps, dwell for 5 seconds. Your maximum ohms would be 100 milliohms, and zero would be the minimum. Okay, when you get this all set up the way you need it, you press the Save Return button to save all the changes that you've made. This will list the, the sequence and all the steps that are in the sequence as it goes along. So what you do is just press the Stop button that arms the test, and then the Start button, and it'll go through the entire test. Now we're on DCW. These are five seconds each. This is the IR test. And then followed by the ground bond test. Once you get to the end of the test, there's an option to show the details. And what that will do is it'll show you the results of your test. In this case, the ACW was 1.69 milliamps. I happen to know there's a transformer in this particular unit which gives a bit of a reading. 
The next step would be DCW, which gives you a zero. The next step is the IR. It gave a 61 gigabyte, or giga ohms rather, as a reading. The next step would be the ground bond, and it was 7.9 milli ohms, so it passed all these tests. Pressing the stop button allows it to go back to the beginning again, and it's ready to run the test again. This concludes the demonstration of the Vitrec V74 with a multi-step sequence. You can see how easy it is to set up and do multiple tests very quickly with the V74 from Vitrec. Thanks for watching.